Hey, what's up? It's Triggy. Welcome to part seven of the VR boxing robot build. If you'll recall, our goal is to set up a robot in the real world to mimic the movements of a virtual entity, so that when you reach out to touch a virtual entity in VR, you actually feel something there. Today, we're going to focus on getting our dummy to move and to be able to take a punch. We built a proof of concept version of this earlier, but it had obvious limitations. Time to beef it up. Forget the old baby cylinders, we'll be using these 2.5 inch diameter bad boy. We'll replace the pin joint with a 75mm aluminum clevis pin, and the mini ball joints from before will be replaced with these titans. I had the base for this whole thing custom made from 8th inch steel. It fits our clevis pins perfectly, and the other spaces exactly fit 3 quarter inch pipe. This allows us to continue to prototype with PVC, which we can replace with steel later, which has the same dimensions. The new cylinders require 3 quarter eighth inch quick release fittings, so let's affix those. We'll want to replace the top section with steel too, but before we can do that we'll need to test the measurements and positioning on the wood from before. We'll test with these brackets. Notice the nubs? These need to be ground down. We'll need a flat surface to attach these onto, which means we'll have to remove these wooden blocks. Now we can attach the brackets and affix the ball joints. We'll use some scrap PVC pieces to get a feel for how long the front piece needs to be. I'll just splice together a few pieces by heating them. I'll drill a hole in one side to fit into the steel spacer, and I'll heat the other side and trim it to an appropriate length. Let's test the dummy's movement capabilities. It looks like he can slip left, right, and lean back, which is what we were hoping for. I'll hook up the pneumatics and test out the positions. Here's what that looks like from the front. Now obviously the front leg of this build is the scrappy part. Honestly the rest is looking pretty legit which is fun, but we need to know which part of this build specifically is the weak point. Hopefully it'll be a material issue with the PVC or the wood and not something unexpected. To figure this out I'll rough up the dummy a bit and see what happens. Here's a close-up of the legs so we can see how they respond. Alright, now I'm really trying to do some damage here. And it looks like the structure is holding up, that's a good sign. Let me switch on the pneumatics. I'll set the compressor to 60 psi and hook everything up. I'll control the cylinders with a Raspberry Pi, which I'll set to switch Bob's position every one and a half seconds. Check out my video on controlling pneumatic cylinders for a refresher on how that works. Now I'll spar a bit. Not only does the movement make the combat more realistic, but ideally the dummy will also be able to slip and dodge punches like this. Now obviously I'm playing along a bit here since I know Bob's movements, but I think the point still stands. And even as is, this is a big step up from punching a heavy bag. I'm really happy with the progress here, and I think we're good to move on to the next step. Moving forward, I'll replace the PVC and wood with steel, and then we'll go from there. But for right now, I think we'll leave it here. That's all for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.